Hi everybody, it's Lee here. We're going to fly straight into this uh, tutorial, bookbind tutorial. This is for a four hole pamphlet stitch. Um, as you can see here, I'm going to be doing the, the book cover pretty fast because I've done this tutorial before and I'll show a link to that in the description bar below so you can go have a look on how I put the covers on my books. There's a few tutorials there that you can have a look at. I've done this loads of times in all my bookbind tutorials so it's pretty straightforward now. So I'm just whizzing through it. Um, just to show you that uh, I am actually making the covers for it. So whenever you're doing a four hole pamphlet stitch you need to make your covers first. So I'm making canvas paper for it here. The reason I decided to do a four hole pamphlet stitch was because I had seen a few people that had used my um, three hole pamphlet stitch for junk journals and some people had put in things like tags and tabs and wee envelopes that weren't the full size of the page. So I decided to do a four hole pamphlet stitch because I thought that would actually hold things like wee tags and tabs and envelopes much better than the three hole because it means that the stitch will go through at least two of the holes in your binding. So your wee envelopes and tabs and tags and wee smaller bits of paper will be um, properly bounded. It won't be loose in your book. Now certainly the three hole pamphlet stitch works very well. But I was just concerned that um, with the three holes, maybe with a smaller piece of paper, it was only maybe getting one of the stitches. So here you can see I'm just burnishing everything to make sure that uh, the the wee um, gullies at the front of the book are well impressed there. So here I'm just making a template um, to punch the holes in my signatures because there's going to be four holes. So I keep these templates on hand for future books and then I'm also doing a template for the spine piece. So I'm finding the centre and that's where the centre signature will go. And then I, um, I measure out where the holes are going to go in the signatures here as well. So I just punch those holes. So the, this piece of paper is going to be for the signature part so I've just marked where I want the, the sewing holes to go. So there's going to be four. So you've seen me do this before, punching the holes in the signatures. It's pretty basic. If you need to refer back to a previous tutorial, I'll put links below for you. So there are all my signature holes done. I'm just checking and making sure it fits in the book perfectly. So now I'm doing the template for the actual spine piece. Now this is going to be the holes for each and every signature. So um, I can't remember how many I put in this book. Was it? I think it might have been 11. I like to do odd numbers of signatures in these type of books. So I'm just basically marking out the sew holes along each line and each line represents a signature. I like my signatures pretty close together because then there's not big gaps between. But I mean with the pamphlet stitch you can put as many or as much distance as you want between your signatures so that way you can bulk it up with embellishments and flowers and photographs and pictures and whatever you want but for this book I want my signatures quite close together because there's not going to be much bulk in this book it's just going to be a basic journal a basic writing journal or ideas book so I'm just marking out all the four holes along each line and I'm going to take my awl here and punch each hole And I've just written on it. It's an 11 signature book and a four hole pamphlet stitch so I'll keep this template for future books. So as you can see I'm just punching the holes here into the spine piece and then going back and widening the holes so that my needle will fit through okay. every so often I'll just check to make sure that there are actually 11 holes there. So I'm just putting the inside cover in and again because I uh, punch the holes in the spine and then put the cover on what I'm going to have to do is go back and punch the holes in because obviously the cover, the inside cover is going to cover and I'm making sure those gullies are well defined as well. That really makes the book in my opinion anyway. It makes the book open perfectly well. So I'm just punching the holes back through again so they're in the inside cover as well. I'm 
just going back in through the inside as well. So this is a uh, linen thread I'm using. It's brown, and I actually um, I got unwaxed linen thread this time, and I just waxed it myself. So you've got your four sewing holes. There's number one, two, three, and four. Now this is a bit slightly different. We don't start from the outside with this pamphlet stitch. We start from the inside of the signature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the second hole with my needle and thread in the signature and pull that through. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave about a 10 centimeter tail or a three inch tail on the inside of the signature. So that's me going through the second hole from the inside out and leaving that tail. And there's my needle and thread coming out the second hole there you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the corresponding hole in your spine piece of your book. So leave your wee tail there. So go through the second hole which is the corresponding hole in the spine. If I can get the needle. I'm actually using the wrong needle here. This isn't my usual needle so I do tend to end up struggling a wee bit with it because it's a smaller needle. So then I'm coming out through the spine piece and I'm just pulling that and making sure it's nice and tight. So there you go, that's the inside of it with the wee tail and then there's the outside of it. And there's where my needle and thread comes out. So I'm going into the top hole in the spine piece and then going through the corresponding top hole in the signature and pulling that through. And you know my rule, I constantly go on about making sure that your threads are taut, that makes sure that um, it's nice and uh, tight in your book, your signatures won't wobble about. So there's your first line done. And then what we're going to do is, you've come in from the top, we're going to skip past number two and skip past number three hole and we're going to go straight down to the fourth hole. So take your needle and thread and go into the fourth hole in your signature and go out the corresponding hole on the back of your spine and pull that through, making sure your threads are nice and tight. I'm sure I tor torture you all by telling you to keep your threads tight, but it is essential that they are completely taut in the book or else you're going to end up having a wobbly page. So then we're going to go into the third hole and into the corresponding third hole in your spine or in your signature piece. And that's basically the four hole pamphlet stitch. It's very, very easy. So whenever you come out this third hole, you're basically going to use the thread that you've just pulled out and the wee tail that you've left hanging. Just gonna sew them or you're just going to tie them together in a double knot. So this is this is a great one for uh, junk journals because Somewhere along the line you'll probably get the two sew holes into any smaller pages that you use so it won't wobble about. It's much more secure. So I'm just tying this double knot in the middle with my tail and where my needle and thread are coming out. Just do a double knot there and that, that's perfectly secure. That'll keep those signatures in there well and good and they'll not wobble about. And then just cut off your excess thread. Now I'm just going to show you that once more. Um, it'll probably be speeded up a wee bit. That's your first signature. So that wee metal bit there where there's nothing, that's great for embellishing, putting like wee metal embellishments or whatever on. So it's tied on the inside of your signature. So here we go again. Just one more time and then I'll speed through it. So you go into your second hole. That's your first stitch. Leave a tail and then go into the second corresponding hole on your spine piece. Pull that through, make sure your wee tail is still in the inside of your signature, just check. Make sure you don't pull it through, because you need about three inches there. Ten centimeters or so. And then go into the top hole through your spine piece and then through the top hole of the corresponding signature. 
Make sure your threads are nice and tight. I'm just giving the wee tug there to make sure they're they're nice and tight. And go straight down to the bottom signature, or sorry, the last hole. And go through the last hole and then in through the last hole of the spine. Pull your threads nice and tight. Make sure your wee tail's still there. And then from the outside, go up into the third hole. And then into the third hole of the corresponding signature. And it's that simple. Easy peasy. Anybody can do it. And it's absolutely fantastic for junk journals. And again, just tie those two tails off. Make sure they're nice and tight. And just snip them. And that's it. You just carry on that way then with uh, the rest of your signatures. It's really simple, very quick and easy to do. And fantastic for junk journals. So I'll just um, let you watch the rest of this here now, folks. I haven't decorated this book yet. Um, I'll leave that to later and I'll I'll probably come back and show you how I've decorated it. So if you have any questions or any comments, leave them down below. I'm more than happy to help. Um, I have some other bookbind tutorials coming up later on with um, one using a pamphlet stitch and uh, a fabric book as well. I've had some questions about fabric books, so they'll be coming up soon as well, hopefully some stage during the summer. And you can see how beautiful those pages look with uh, the four stitch. It looks really lovely on the outside. So any questions or queries, leave them down below, folks. I'll see you at the next one. Bye.